Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. I'm messy! That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. 2022 was a year full of events that shook the whole world. The football World Cup that took place in Qatar, filled with joy the fans that supported their nation, while other events were much more darker, like the war that occurred between Russia and Ukraine. In this video we will see the most relevant events that occurred during the year, as usual with the iceberg format, we start at level 1 where we find the most common and well-known events, and go down to level 5, where we will find the most curious and disturbing. Level 1 2022 was considered the year of the tiger, according to the Chinese horoscope. Also according to the United Nations, it was the International Year of Glass, as well as the International Year of Fisheries and Aquaculture, and the International Year of Sciences for Sustainable Development. On November 15, 2022, the world population reached 8 billion people. The latest United Nations projections, released on the occasion of World Population Day, suggest that the number of people on the planet could reach around 8.5 billion by 2030 and 9.7 billion by 2050. It is projected to peak at around 10.4 billion people during the 2080s and remain at that level until 2100. February 22, 2022 was one of the most peculiar days, as it is a palindromic date, which means that it can be read equally from left to right and vice versa. For numerology lovers, this date is even more special because the two is related to duality, and therefore to balance, the couple and sensitivity. The next palindromic date will occur on February 3, 2030. On February 13, Super Bowl 56 was played at the Rose Bowl, the first in the city of Inglewood. The teams facing each other were the Los Angeles Rams and Cincinnati Bengals. The Rams, who were favored to win, managed to come from behind against the Bengals, with a final score of 23-20. In cycling this year, the 109th edition of the Tour de France was a cycling road race held during July, starting in Copenhagen, Denmark and finishing in Paris, France. The race was the second and the most important of the so-called Grand Tours of the season and was part of the World Tour 2022 circuit. The winner was Denmark's Jonas Vingard of Jumbo Visma. In wrestling WrestleMania 38 was held over two nights, April 2nd and 3rd, in Arlington, Texas. WrestleMania is considered WWE's flagship event, having first been held in 1985. It is the longest-running professional wrestling event in history and is held annually between mid-March and mid-April. This event was particularly special because Logan Paul made his debut during this event as a professional wrestler, joining The Miz to face Rey Mysterio. The 2022 Football World Cup was the 22nd edition organized by FIFA. It was the World Cup with the longest waiting time since 1950, with respect to its previous edition, since it took place between November and December 2022, as opposed to the usual June and July, the reason for this is that during June and July, Qatar has a climate that is too hot to play soccer. The champion was Argentina, which defeated the reigning world champion, France, 4-2 on penalties in the final after a 3-3 draw. Argentina was crowned champion for the third time in its history, after 36 years of waiting. It also ended a streak of four consecutive European championships, the longest in a single continent. It is known as the most controversial World Cup in history, as several groups and media outlets expressed their concern about Qatar's suitability to host the event, due to the corruption uncovered to award the venue, deaths during the construction of the stadiums and serious questions about the respect for human rights. This year there were around 150 movies released in theaters, among some of them, we can find Jurassic World, Dominion, Thor, Love and Thunder, Black Panther 2 and Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero, among many others. The highest grossing film this year was Top Gun, Maverick, 
while Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness grossed the most during its opening weekend. This year's Golden Globes, which are commonly known as the prelude to the Oscars, took place away from the public eye, with no red carpet, and without its traditional party. The Power of the Dog was chosen as Best Drama Film and West Side Story as Best Comedy or Musical. As every year, the Oscars were held, where Coda won the award for Best Film of the Year, while Dune won the most awards, with a total of six awards. The movie Morbius was considered by many as the worst movie of the year, it became very popular on the internet, but not for good reasons. During its initial release, it was a box office failure, so after seeing the popularity it gained on the internet, Sony, the company in charge of the production of the movie, decided to re-release the movie, hoping to recover money, however, it would be a failure again in its second release. This year, popular series such as Better Call Saul, and The Walking Dead had their long-awaited end. Talking about video games, this year was quite full of releases expected by many people, such as the long-awaited Elden Ring, or God of War, Ragnarok. There were also games for all kinds of people, such as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Stray, Sonic Frontiers, and even the remake of The Last of Us Part 1, which was quite criticized, mainly for being a game that did not need a second release. Just like in the movies, video games also have their awards, the Game Awards, this year took place on December 8th. Elden Ring was awarded as the best game of the year, while God of War, Ragnarok had more awards in general. The awards would become a trend, due to the fact that during the end of the awards, a young man went on stage without anyone stopping him. Anime has become very influential in pop culture in recent times. The importance of this medium today is undeniable, it is becoming more and more popular and therefore the productions compete with Hollywood. Some of the most relevant anime of the year were Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, and My Hero Academia Season 6. Mob Psycho 100 had its final season this year, many fans waited a long time for this ending, but the most popular and awaited anime this year, is without a doubt, Chainsaw Man. The Pokemon anime had its peak, after Ash became world champion, even being broadcasted in the streets of Japan, and was celebrated worldwide by fans of the franchise, as this will be the last time Ash will star in the anime. After this, Liko and Roy will be the new faces of the series. At the Crunchyroll Awards 2022, the best anime of the year was Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1, which also won the award for Best Opening. Level 2 As every year, social networks become a fundamental part of our lives, more than 62% of the world's population uses the internet in some way. On TikTok, the most viewed video this year belongs to user Amari Gishin, in which he creates this impressive giraffe made of 100% chocolate. On Twitch, Ibai set the record for most viewers on a live stream, with a total of 3.3 million simultaneous viewers. On Instagram, Messi posted the photo with the most likes on the platform so far, with over 70 million and counting. We have already talked about the most interesting things in cinema in 2022, but if we had to choose an image to remember this 2022, it would be the slap Will Smith gave Chris Rock on the night of the Oscars, an incident that continues to be talked about and that has come to overshadow other key moments in the history of these awards. Millions of people following the awards live needed a few minutes to figure out what was going on, and many thought it was a prank or a ploy to improve the audience. Then came the Academy's ban, which prevents Smith from returning to the gala for a decade, and two projects the actor had with Sony and Netflix were halted. This was an event that began on April 11, 2022, and ended on June 1st, involving Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The lawsuit was around an article Heard published in the Washington Post in 2018 in which she said she had been a victim of domestic violence. The text did not name Depp, but the actor's lawyers argued that his career was damaged, by implication. 
Amber Heard filed a $100 million countersuit in which she argued that her ex-husband defamed her in public statements made through his lawyers that also came at a cost to her career. The jury found in Depp's favor on all three counts and awarded him $15 million in damages. The jury also found in favor of Heard on one of her three counts and awarded her $2 million. The judge reduced the amount of punitive damages awarded against Heard in accordance with the statutory caps to a total amount of $10.35 million awarded to Depp. This event caused a lot of buzz on social media, as everyone was watching what was going on. One of the men who every year gives people something to talk about is Elon Musk, the richest man in the world can afford to make extravagant decisions, such as buying Twitter. On April 14, the billionaire publicly declared that he wanted to buy Twitter, with everything included, offering $44 billion. Musk argued that Twitter had lost its way. He said Twitter had too often restricted free speech and, being the public square of the world, he needed to put free speech above all else. Musk would try to withdraw his offer, after learning that the majority of the platform's users were bots, however, Twitter would not accept it. It argued that Musk's agreement to buy the company was legally binding and that undoing the deal was not an option. This all looked like it would end up in court, but out of nowhere, Musk changed his mind and went back to the deal. On October 28, Elon Musk had officially bought Twitter for a reported $44 billion. This year the first photograph of a black hole was published, the Event Horizon Telescope showed the world the first image of the black hole that occupies the center of our galaxy. Although it is not luminous, the EHT has been able to make it visible thanks to the combination of eight large telescopes spread across the Earth, turning our planet into a giant eye. Although we cannot see the black hole directly, we see a bright ring of light around a central shadow. Something interesting related to this photograph is that in the 2014 feature film Interstellar, we can see the similarity it has with the discovery because the film's director, Christopher Nolan, had as an advisor the Nobel Prize winner in physics, Kip Thorne, who helped to make the events of the film as accurate as possible. Level 3 We are going to lose our jobs, is the phrase you may have read the most on the internet, since AIs, capable of creating graphical elements, started to become popular. A clear example of this is that an image created by an AI won an art contest this year. The design was generated by the intelligence mid-journey, under the instructions of Jason Allen, this would cause a lot of controversy on the internet. The reason is quite simple, Jason Allen submitted his work in the digital arts category, and to the surprise of many, he won the contest. After this, many people opposed Alan's victory, for acting in a misleading way and never mentioning that an AI created the image. All this, generated a great discussion about what is considered art and what is not, because the judges and participants could not distinguish that it was something artificial. Just Stop Oil is a climate campaign group in the UK, using civil resistance to ensure that the UK government commits to stopping new fossil fuel licensing and production. This same group would be known around the world for dumping the contents of two cans of tomato soup on Vincent van Gogh's famous painting, Sunflowers. According to the group, the two activists threw these cans on the canvas, after throwing it, both knelt in front of the work and smeared glue to stick to the wall. They did this in order to demand that the British government stop the new oil and gas projects. After this, the activists were arrested, but their movement caused others to follow suit, imitating what happened. Today there is no need to explain what an NFT is, as they became quite popular during the year. NFTs emerged years ago on Ethereum, a digital platform based on blockchain technology, and their first collectibles were the CryptoPunks created in 2017. Non-fungible tokens are indestructible and unforgeable, as they are stored with blockchain. With this type of technology, every transaction that is made is recorded in different databases, because it is decentralized. This very year several of these tokens were sold, 
at very high prices during its boom. However, today the NFTs have had a quite significant drop. The reasons for this significant drop are several, from the loss of interest on the part of the public, the appearance of projects, which only sought to defraud people and the large number of hacks that are experienced in the main platforms. A clear example is this NFT that Justin Bieber bought, for around $1.29 million, and that is now worth less than $60,000. The metaverse was one of the projects that caused most debate during the year. In simple terms, the metaverse is a virtual world, to which we will connect using a series of devices that will make us think that we are really inside it, interacting with all its elements. It would be like teleporting to a whole new world through virtual reality glasses and other accessories that allow us to interact with it, or at least that is what it promised. Horizon Worlds is the name of this supposed virtual world, which would be a total failure, registering a maximum of 200,000 users. People quickly lost interest, most of them not even bothering to log in a second time, since according to the users themselves, there was nothing to do. Another example of this failure is that the European Union spent about 400,000 euros in a metaverse party aimed to engage with young people, and only six people show up. Maybe this idea will be successful in the future, but for now, it is just a product that causes millions of dollars in losses. Level 4 Antarctica's climate is the coldest in the world. The lowest Antarctic air temperature record was set on July 21, 1983, at minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, it would be unthinkable that in this place we would imagine the presence of flowers, however, they have recently begun to grow. A study published in the journal Current Biology found that the continent's only flowering plants have been growing rapidly over the past decade, thanks to warmer temperatures. While the continent is not experiencing climate changes as rapidly as the Arctic, new research increasingly shows that Antarctica is not immune to warming as some scientists had previously thought. A study published in 2020 found that Antarctica has warmed three times faster than the rest of the world over the past 30 years. Overall, it is clear that the warmer climate driven by climate change is accelerating the growth of these plants, at a much faster rate than scientists expected. September 8, 2022, will be remembered by all British people, as it is the day on which their sovereign Queen Elizabeth passed away. Queen Elizabeth II became a source of pride for the British, and the quintessential symbol of royalty to the world. Elizabeth has witnessed and been part of events such as World War II, and worked hand-in-hand hand with rulers such as Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher, and is today the longest reigning monarch of England. As we have already seen, the World Cup was the biggest sporting event of the year, however, there is a lot of controversy surrounding its host, Qatar. First of all, it must be said that Qatar basically bought its right to host the event, as it is not considered a country with much interest in sports, and it did not have the necessary stadiums for the event. That is why they built the necessary stadiums in advance, so they hired mostly migrants for the job, and according to several media, it is estimated that between 400 and 500 workers lost their lives, and thousands more suffered injuries, although the Qatari government denies this fact. Whether this number is real or not, it doesn't really matter, even if it had only been one person, it would still be a very high number, even more so, when you find out that all the stadiums they worked on will end up being dismantled, as if all the work and sacrifice had been in vain. On January 15, an oil spill occurred off the coast of Peru, which would be described as the worst ecological disaster in the country. However, it would not be the only one, because only 10 days later, something similar would happen again in the same country. This time it would be due to a failure in the valve of the well, in the oil platform of Peru, in the sea off the beaches of Peña Negra and Cabo Blanco. Needless to say the damage caused by this type of incidents in the environment is horrible, even so, every year accidents of this type occur in different parts of the world.
Level 5 One of the tragedies that marked this year was the shooting in downtown Sacramento that occurred during the early morning hours of Sunday, April 3. The incident occurred at a time when the streets of downtown were filled with people leaving nightclubs and bars. It is even worse to know that this would not be considered the worst tragedy of the year, because there would also be an incident in Uvalde, in an elementary school, where unfortunately, 21 children would lose their lives, at the hands of an 18-year-old. As with ecological disasters, it is very disheartening to know that tragedies like this occur every year. The global food crisis in 2022 is the product of a rapid rise in food prices and shortages of food supplies around the world. Different geopolitical, economic and natural causes combine to aggravate the impacts and consequences of the crisis. Observers of food commodity markets warned of a collapse in food supply and price increases. Much of the concern is related to supply shortages of key commodity crops, such as wheat, corn, and oil seeds, which could lead to price increases. The invasion of Russia also led to increases in fuel and fertilizer prices, leading to further food shortages and price increases. The impacts of climate change in different parts of the world, added to the economic and food security crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This unfortunate incident occurred in South Korea on October 29 during a Halloween festival. During the night, thousands of people flocked to the area in downtown Seoul to celebrate Halloween, but panic broke out when the crowd swelled, and some witnesses said it became difficult to breathe and impossible to move, causing a stampede, in which many people were injured and there were many casualties. Seoul has long been a popular place to celebrate Halloween, especially as the holiday has become more popular in Asia in recent years. Some even fly to Seoul from other countries in the region for the festivities. Los Tajirias is a town located near Caracas, Venezuela. On the night of October 8, a landslide on the hillside in the city swept away sediment, vehicles, rocks, and huge trees that took dozens of lives and hundreds of homes. There were more than 50 victims, and more than 700 homes were destroyed. All this was the result of the rain that lashed the town during those dates, and many locals attributed the cause to the fact that the houses were built too close to rivers and streams, resulting in a constant danger. This is an event of which we are all aware. It began on February 24, 2022. The Russian invasion of Ukraine put an end to several decades of European peace. The justifications put forward by Vladimir Putin for the invasion have been mainly two, the need to demilitarize and denazify the neighboring country. There have been demonstrations in several cities around the world against the Russian attacks on Ukraine, calling for an end to the war and the search for diplomatic alternatives. Although this started in February, even in December, there is still no clear resolution. This war has been one of the most unfortunate events, as thousands of people have lost their lives in a senseless war, undoubtedly the greatest tragedy in recent times. times.